what is up all you yourselfers? My name is Dylan Taylor. This is Dylan's DIY Workshop and today I'm going to show you how to change the motor on a drill press. Or really any tool that they kind of mount to. It's really simple. So I've got this drill press right here and the reason I'm using it is because this drill press over here is a little too small for the holes that I will be drilling. They're, they're really big. Uh, I'm actually using it as a plug cutter. So I've got this drill press. It had this motor on it this morning and this motor is dead. It, it won't turn. I think it's burnt out. So I took that off and I slapped this one on there and there's one problem with it. It spins the wrong way. So it'd be counterclockwise the wrong way. So it'd be unthreading something. Whereas uh, this motor over here that I have, it's, I don't think it's a brand new motor, but I've got it wired up with a switch on it and I took uh, a pulley set and put it on there so that it matches the drill press pulleys the opposite direction so you can have different speeds. So we're taking this motor off and putting a third motor on for the day and I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. Let's start off by unplugging it, which it already is, and then taking off whatever bolts that you have after we get this pulley off. So pulley is off, it's out of our way. Now the motor's just hanging here. We got our cord. Now the bolts that are on mine are half inch. Got a half inch wrench here and also a half inch socket. And they're carriage bolts, which are really nice. So they sit in there nice and there's only one bolt head that you have to take off. So I like to loosen them all off and then I'm gonna take the bottom ones off first. So I'm just gonna tap these out. And don't drop this motor on yourself. They're heavy. They're very heavy. Uh, yeah, so now that we've got this on here, as you can see, I've got this pipe drill press, so the whole thing moves, which is a pain in the keister, but I'm gonna fix that eventually. That'll be Go ahead and grab our new motor, which is this one. So we're just gonna hold this up here. And we're not worried about placement yet. We just wanna get uh, the weight supported by some nuts. So you want to hold it with one hand and then try to get everything on with the other hand. This is uh, easier if you have two people. Okay, we got our switch and we're going to undo this one. I'm confident in the fact that this will work. Okay, so she spins. That's all we needed it to do. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if I left all the cussing in, hopefully you don't have to go through all the same to get your drill press mounted. Make sure that these are tight because the last thing you want is your motor to shift while you're running it. Would not be good. And uh, there you go. That's how you change the, the thing. Uh, again, this should be the other way around so that it lines up with that. And I could have left it the other way around if I had have lowered the motor, but I was not. But I was not in the mood to loosen all of these off to lower the motor so that it would line up perfectly with that. Uh, either that or it was actually lined up perfect. This was lined up with that. I would have just needed a shorter belt because this motor is not quite as tall as that motor was. So it's actually a little bit closer to the headstock. So measure that with a long shoelace tied together make it tight around one of these or any of these because this is supposed to be upside down to that so it's the same distance around from the short to the big and the big to the short so you might need a new belt if your motor is not as tall as the other one or you could use what that motor had which was a spacer you can make your own spacer out of cardboard well not cardboard this is hardboard so you could use something like this uh, it's hardboard or plywood or whatever. As long as your carriage bolts are long enough to go through, you'll be fine. But there you guys have it. That is the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something new. If you guys would like to support the work that I do or the videos that I make, Patreon is probably the best way to do so. And I will leave a link to that in the description. So thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who support me already. And a special thank you to the top tier Patreon supporters, Randy, Robin Burton, and Mike Maxwell. You guys are awesome. That's going to be it for this one, guys. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.